Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Christie's Beautiful Life. 30 Days of Sketches, Round 7. We are working with this sketch by Susan Stringfellow. At, I believe it's Sketch Savvy. Let's see here. Yep, sketch, sketchsavvy.blogspot.com. And I have these photos of my daughter and my grandson um, feeding carrots to this llama and these goats. And so I decided I wanted to go ahead and scrapbook those. And I had a little bit of paper left over from Photo Play's Paprika collection, which has llamas and um, camels in it. Yep, there you go. Camels and llamas. Oh, and apparently a peacock. Um, anyway, I didn't end up using that big old sheet there. I just end up using um, this little slice of it. And I don't really care about the camels. I just wanted to feature the llamas because there's not a lot of time in my life anyway that um, I spend with llamas. And so I thought it would be a good time to use this per particular paper up. And I really like this little card that says advice from a llama. So I knew I wanted to use that, but it's not going to stay in that location. I'm going to have to move it around. And I am stretching all of these papers because I only have a little bit of it left. Um, I do have more of that yellow, but I didn't really want to cut into it if I have this little section and it's easy enough to stretch it, so that's what I was doing. And um, I am loosely following, following the sketch up there. It's not going to be completely exact, but um, it does have all of the vertical and horizontal layers going on, so it gives you that same feel to it. I don't use the little two banner, um, banner flag type things that are hanging down underneath the larger photo. photo. So, um, you know, sketches are really designed for you to, to start with and then, you know, make it your own. So that's what I'm doing. I am working with it and I am going to uh, modify it to fit my needs, which is really what sketches are all about, at least for me. Um, sometimes I get a little bit more exact on them, but sometimes you just have to veer off. So I'm trimming down this pink card because I want to stretch this card and I don't have any more of that pink. So I, I figured if I cut a sliver of it off, I could pull that pink down below and it would give me just enough to make it feel like that card stretched down underneath that photo. So I like how that looks. I also didn't really need that card to be complete three by four. Um, so cutting it down didn't bother me at all one bit. <laughs> um, so there is not a huge story to this, this these photos or anything, um, just that they're feeding this llama and um, these goats in our friend's neighborhood. And then I do have the sticker sheet that goes with this collection, so I am going to pull stickers off that sticker sheet and try and get as many used up as I can. Um, without going overboard and making it look like my sticker sheet uh, threw up all over my page. <laughs> so um, I really like this teal down here in the bottom right hand corner. And I like the ma mandala look, but I didn't need the whole mandala all the way at the top. So I just pulled a sliver of it down below to kind of tie in with the piece in the upper left kind of going with a diagonal here, but I am going to add a third embellishment area to really frame the two photos. Um, I have three hearts also. One is orange, one is like this hot pink color, and the other is a red. Um, you don't see the red one there. That is the hot pink one that you're looking at um, and the orange one that I'm working with. So I'm going to pull in the red one as well. There's the red one. It's a little bit more orange than the pink one. Um, and so I'm going to pull it in over to the left-hand side of the left-hand photo, and that's going to be my third area. So it's going to frame the uh, photos just perfectly. I have these stamps from the stamp market. They are called labeled. Um, they come with I I have the dies that go with them as well, but it's much easier for me to just trim off these straight lines than it is to get out any die cutting machine to actually cut it. So I just use my scissors to trim them out, and I just stamp those in black ink. Um, 
and I am pulling in a second one to have on the left hand side of the left hand photograph. So I'm just kind of pulling the same design all the way across and the first ink pad that I had used um, it was not it needs to be re-inked so <laughs> it didn't give me a clear impression so I re-stamped it a second time or maybe that was the third time I don't know <laughs> um, but I do know I had to re-stamp it and then I am actually gonna go through and ink everything in black and for me that just tones everything down another uh, good option would be to back everything in black paper which I have been known to do that as well and I really like how that looks but uh, that takes a little bit longer and in this case I thought you know what I'm just gonna use the ink and go with that it just kinda tones everything down um, gives softer edges and um, makes it a little less uh, busy um, there are these square tile cards, uh, cards, stickers, <laughs> they're not cards, and I'm just cutting them in half and using them in different areas to kind of like expand and add more layers and more texture. I really like layers and um, some of my layouts lately I've not been using as much paper because I've been doing more mixed media and um, I just kind of felt like playing with paper and stickers today, so that's what I'm doing. So there are a whole bunch of other ladies playing along. Um, I shouldn't just say ladies because uh, there there could be a gentleman or two playing along at some point. Um, so I have a lot of scrappy friends playing along and you can find all of the links to their channels down below. And I highly encourage you to go check them out. I know Christy has a video for every day. I'm trying to complete videos every day so we will see how that goes and if I can manage to do that for the entire 30 days of this particular challenge. Uh, if you have any questions or comments you can leave those down below. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. I don't always um, respond right away but I will respond and read every single comment. So I'm going to add the title uh, just putting hello over on this upper right hand side. I like how that looks and that's going to finish off my layout. I, I did add a few black enamel dots um, off camera so you can see those there in the close-up thank you so much for watching I really appreciate your time um, I will have another video for you guys tomorrow don't forget to check out everyone else playing along um, I know that they've all put a lot of work into this as well and we've all had a lot of fun doing it so I hope you find some inspiration and I will see you guys next time thanks bye bye